Welcome guys, lead generation for small businesses. Guys, scary thought, right? Without leads, you have no business, right? And I'm gonna share with you and show you and peel back the curtains of my own Google Ads account where we've done over 24,000 leads for our business. And it's the same process that our clients inside of our Google coaching program uses. So guys, if you're a small business and you want leads right now, Google is the place to be. And I'm gonna share with you how to do that. So guys, let's dive in. Okay guys, if you are a small business and you're looking to generate leads, this is the place for you guys, right? It doesn't matter if you're a small business or a medium-sized business. Using Google to generate leads is super powerful. I'm going to show you some of the best ways we have found. As you can see, guys, here, we've done over 25,000 leads, okay, using Google. And it doesn't matter what type of business you are, what you offer. I'm going to show you how to use and select keywords, how to make sure you've got your landing page set up correctly, and how to avoid some of the biggest mistakes guys right that people make and if you can nail this honestly right you can generate a lot of quality leads using Google because think about it guys people are using Google and they are searching and looking for services they're looking for answers and and answers to their problems and they're trying to find solutions guys so let me dive in so the first thing you're going to need and you can google this right go to google and type in google keyword planner this is a free tool that google gives you and it is super super powerful now in this example guys i'm going to show you I'm going to pretend I'm a life insurance agent, right? Now, we've got a lot of life insurance students inside of our Google coaching program. So I know that this is a really popular subject. But as I said before, guys, it doesn't matter if you're a real estate agent, you offer dog walking services, you offer uh, security services. This method of using Google that I'm going to show you and how to structure your landing page as well works for any type of business if you are trying to get leads okay if you're a small business a medium-sized business it doesn't matter guys you need leads right otherwise your business will not be successful and will not succeed and this is why I want to show you because I want you to avoid some of the common mistakes so I'm gonna pretend I offer life insurance and I offer life insurance in the USA it doesn't matter if you're in Australia Canada UK you can tell Google what area and what city and what location you want to target for your ideal clients and leads, okay? So here's what we're going to do. So I've just typed in life insurance. Now, the big mistake people make, and, and, and I really want you to make a note of this, right? The big mistake people make when it comes to selecting their keywords for their business is they go after the big, massive, shiny, golden, high search volume keywords. If you are a small to medium sized business looking to generate leads, guys, do not go after the big, massive, highly competitive, huge search volume keywords because it's just gonna blow your budget. If you are a small to medium sized business, the chances are you have quite a small or, or a moderate type budget. So, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to get clever and I want you to start really digging underneath that golden shiny keyword. So life insurance, right? Most people will go, wow, 246,000 searches, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna really go for that keyword. Um, but guys, you will just waste your budget because it's so, so broad. If you offer life insurance, right, you want to start drilling down and, and, and start to create almost like little tiny mini markets that are a lot less search volume. They will be cheaper to get leads for and they'll be cheaper to help market your business. It doesn't matter, let's say you offer, I don't know, security services, for example. You might offer alarms, 
You might offer door uh, door hatches or or door security. You want to start drilling down and not just go after the whole generic term security, life insurance, real estate. You want to drill down further, guys. So I'm now looking at this Google Keyword Planner, and I'm starting to think, right, where can there, where is there opportunities that where I can market my business and get cheap leads because I am a small to medium sized business. And you've just got to go through this and it can take a little bit of time, but guys, you've got to put the effort in and the time in to find the right keyword where there's not a huge amount of um, search volume, uh, sorry, not as much competition. And yes, you don't need huge search volumes, guys. So get away from the idea that you need to have massive keyword searches um, to find the right keywords. Guys, you don't. You don't need to do that at all. Now, I found one here. Look at this one here. It's 27,000 searches. Um, Google is saying that this is a keyword that is on the up, and you can see that here. Look, the keyword is getting is, is really popular, and it is senior life insurance. Now, that's what I mean. I am not going after life insurance. I'm going after senior life insurance. I've made it more specific and I've drilled down into that keyword because it's much more niche, okay? Now, I can then go to Google. I can target senior life insurance and I can target demographics of, let's say, 50 or 55 years of age or more. Now, the next thing you want to do, guys, right, you want to then come over to your keyword plan, uh, so your Google ads, okay? Now, this is where you're going to create the ad. And once I've done this, so showed you some examples, I'm, an, I'm going to show you also an example of how to structure a good landing page so everybody is coming to your ad, in our example, Senior Life Insurance, and they go to the right landing page. You need to think, guys, think, 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 think about the type of business you offer, okay? And drill down and start to pick out different keywords. So I'm now targeting um, senior life insurance, okay? So this is what you want to do, and, and I want you to avoid some of the big mistakes that people make. So here we're gonna create um, an ad together. So let's go through this ad. Now, always, always bear in mind, okay, that you are offering senior life insurance. Your, your, your um, target, because you're only using senior life insurance, keyword is targeting seniors. So are you a senior? So I'm just going to put some examples here on what works. Now, putting questions, guys, in ads on Google works so, so well because you're making that person feel understood. If you're going out and asking a question, are you a, are you a senior? Um, do you need life insurance? Question mark. Yes. Yes, I do. So, um, are you a senior apologies my spelling <laughs> so we'll just repeat that there so are you a senior question mark so are you a senior do you need life insurance okay now another thing always always think guys you are speaking directly to the, the market that you are targeting, which in this example, now you're going to need to think about your own business, but still use this method of thought and the mindset and the way I'm, I'm showing you for your own business, okay? Uh, we only do senior life. We only, we do... We do senior life insurance. Now, can you see, guys, look, senior life insurance. Do you need life insurance? Are you a senior? Number one, senior life insurance. And you can start to see your ad, okay? So if I just move my, my face out the way here, you can see. Can you see how my ad is being structured? And I'm only targeting senior life insurance, 
people that are only looking for senior life insurance. I'm not going after this big, huge, broad 250,000 searches. I'm going after a sub market of that. And guys, this is what's helped us to generate 25,000 leads and get in front of 38 million people, right? Which is, which is, which is crazy. But it's what's helped us build a usually successful business using Google by using these exact methods. Now, one thing I want to stress to you guys is when you are writing your ad, right, you need to send that ad and the traffic that comes to that ad to a landing page. And I want to show you an example of uh, a good landing page that one of our clients uh, used to use and it converted like crazy. When you are trying to do lead generation, guys, right, if you're a small and medium business, you are on a, uh, a budget you may not be on a budget or you might be on a small to moderate marketing budget, right? So you want to make sure that you get your landing page set up correctly. Now, check this out, guys. This is like one of a, a good example. And this landing page from Google converted around 60, 70% of cold traffic, which means they've never heard of this company before. They went straight to the landing page and they converted. When you're generating leads on Google, and it doesn't, I don't care what type of business you are, it's the same process. You do not need to ask them tons of questions on your contact form. It is a low barrier to entry. You are not asking that person, that cold traffic, for any financial commitment. You're asking, not asking for credit card details. You're not asking for payment. So all you need, guys, is a name, an email, a cell number. That's all you need. And if you can just have a simple form, you can get the rest of the information when you're talking to the client or the lead once they have completed the form, okay? And that is the power of setting up the right sort of landing page to support this, guys, to support your ad, okay? To support your ad. Um... And that's what you need to do. You need to have a clear headline. So my example in my senior life insurance would be, are you a senior? Do you need life insurance? We only ever specialize in senior life insurance. Now, you might obviously specialize in lots of different insurances, right? But my point is, I'm trying to get you guys to think about along the lines of, getting smart in your marketing by looking at the keywords and drilling down and finding low competition keywords where you can be very specific in your messaging which would be here in your headline and your bullet points okay and that is a good good way to structure a very profitable and successful campaign using google now bonus tip here guys right is i'm going to show you something where you can find even better keywords right is let's go to google right you would go to google and you would type in so in our example right we're typing in senior life insurance okay now this is what you would need to do for uh your own business you would uh need to go to google type in whatever services or whatever it is you need leads for and i want you to come halfway down the google page and you will see look at this this is golden nuggets guys these is this is what people most people don't even bother with or look at now look people also ask is it worth having life insurance over 65 right now look at this guys this is quality because this is Google giving you some inside information of what people are using. So you can now go ahead and you can drop some of these phrases, right, in to your ad, okay? And that's what's really powerful about this. So now you may have to play around with the keywords because Google only give you a certain level of um, um, keywords, right? So you could say, uh, worth, uh, here we go, H having life insurance at 65, okay? So I've just dropped that keyword in, and it will show now, as you can see on the uh, ad, 
that 65. Are you a senior? So I'm talking very specifically to my audience, guys. So really, really important thing here, guys, right? And which is what we've, this is some of the tactics and just the basics that we teach some of our clients inside of uh, my Google coaching program, right? Where we do one-to-one coaching and we only ever do one-to-one coaching because people get the most out of it that way. Um, and this is what this is what's got us 25,000 leads and 38 million eyeballs on our business, okay? So key things, guys, drill down into your keywords, go after the low competition, the low hanging fruit, don't go after the big golden shiny keywords. Second thing, when you structure your ad, think about that keyword that you are targeting and put that into your messaging. So you, you, you're talking to the right person and they feel understood. And thirdly, guys, is get your landing page set up right. Clear headline that speaks to the keyword you are targeting. And also make sure that your contact form, which is your money maker, right, is simple. You do not need any more than four or five questions when you're trying to get leads for a small to medium sized business. Guys, hope it really made sense. Hope you understood this. Any questions or comments, leave um, below. Um, Free training as well, guys. Go into a lot more depth on this sort of stuff. You know, it's really powerful stuff, this. Um, Free training in the description below. And go and check it out. And uh, subscribe, guys. If you liked it, subscribe. And you want to learn more, go for it. You know, learn this stuff, guys. It's super, super powerful. So on that note, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to um, hopefully catching you on some more uh, training videos. All right. Cheers, guys. Thank you.